Hey, it's Cassie. So I didn't film a proper intro to this video because it was on the spot. I was like, you know what, I'm bored. Let me do my makeup and it turned out to be a cute look that you could do for um, the holidays for like Christmas if you're doing a more fancy party or New Year's. So basically the first part of this video is just me doing my hair because it looked like poop. So I just spray it down with normal tap water from a spray bottle and then I <clears throat> mess it back up because I have curly hair and it was going to take way too long for it to shrink up if I just left it down like that and also the curls would have been weird if I had just left it combed down like that. Also I couldn't see. But now I'm using Not Your Mother's uh, sea salt spray. It says something about like beach hair and stuff on it. It basically helps with your curls uh, so there's no frizz or um, it also helps control like the fluff to it too as well and yeah again I just spray that throughout my hair and mess it around, shake it around, scrunch it to help the curls curl and stuff like that, uh, you know, it happens with curly hair. Also, I was listening to music while filming this, so there's a lot of me just singing and dancing. So, basically, now I use an alligator clip just to clip my hair back from my face so that it's not there. And I'm using my e.l.f. medium brown eyebrow kit, and I use the like gel side with an actually an angled uh, eyeliner brush and I just go in fill in my eyebrows my eyebrows are weird I also have like a scar so I work around that and then I go in with my covergirl um, concealer I use this concealer all the time it's one of my favorites um, I just go in, cover spots under my eyes to, um, like, cover those dark circles. And then I'm taking a concealer brush from EcoTools and just going in around my eyebrows, um, underneath, uh, on top, on the sides, just to make sure that, you know eyebrows on fleek even though my eyebrows suck and can never be on fleek and I'm pretty sure I think I ended up covering the like end of my eyebrow because it sucked <laughs> and there's hardly any hairs there anywhere anyways because that's all scarred but I try to give myself what I can <clears throat> and I was just there just wiping off the excess concealer and now you just gotta blend 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 that all in because we don't want to be blotchy and stuff so you gotta blend it all in <clears throat> you gotta make sure you blend everywhere because girl that is the key to making your makeup look flawless is blending it all in so now I'm going in with my covergirl um, foundation in the color 105 and my Fit Me Foundation by, I'm pretty sure, Maybelline. And I don't remember what number that is in. Oh, it's in 110 Porcelain. It's their lightest shade. Also, the 105 CoverGirl is the lightest shade too because I'm pale. But the 105 is a little too dark for me and the 110 is... A little too light for me so I mix them together try to get the best complexion that I can and yes I know there's a lot of foundation on the sponge it's because I poured out too much on accident and yeah you just saw me right there just realized that I had too much foundation on my hands but I blend it onto my ears down my neck you know so that way it's all one color and what was I looking for there? Oh, getting a makeup wipe to wipe off the excess foundation from my hands. So now I'm going to be going in with my Master Fix um, translucent powder. 
And I go in with just a fluffy powder brush from Eco Tools, and I use quite a bit of this just because my face is pretty oily. So this kind of helps soak up, soaks up the oil um, from my face. And now I'm going in with my Hulu bronzer, and this is me just trying to get a good angle to show you what it looks like. But I gave up, so I just go in with an angled fluffy brush from. Eco Tools. I use a lot of Eco Tools. It's n not sponsored whatsoever. Um, obviously, because <laughs> who would sponsor me? But um, I just go in on my cheekbones, my temples, and my jawline. Well, try to give myself a jawline, anyways. And yes, I realize it looks a little too dark, and um, the lighting was not being friendly. But yes, I realize that. The bronzer does look too dark when I finish doing it. So what I do if it's too dark is I... Oh, first, before I get to that part. Um, I went in with my Maybelline True Match or whatever, True Bronzer. I don't remember. It's baked. It's shimmery and it uh, just complements the Hulu bronzer. But I just go in with my fluffy brush with the translucent powder to try to blend that all out and make it look lighter. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Jumbo Stick uh, eyeshadow. And it's a gold color. It kind of is the same color as my skin. It just helps the eyeshadow that we will be putting on to stay longer. And I just blend it all out with my middle finger. So now I am going to be going in with the color Cashew Chew from my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Powder, or Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette, and that's going to go in all over my lids, and the reason why my eyes look so red is because I tried doing a different eyeshadow look before this one, but it wasn't working out. So I did Cashew Chew all over the lid, and now I'm going in with Molasses Chip, which is a, like dark shimmery bronzy color and I just put that into the corner of my eye using a fluffy brush from Ellie which is just a brush that I got from Kohl's and just blending that into the outer corner of my eyes. So now I'm going in with a small brush just like I don't know a compact brush from e.l.f. I don't know what it is but I'm going in with the color Cafe uh, Laut. La I don't know how to say it. But it's like the shimmery, silvery color um, in the palette. And I'm just going in the inner corners with that to kind of highlight in a way. And just um, fixing my outer corner blending with the same molasses chip color and then I just clean up around my eyes with uh, my fingers like if I think it's too high I just clean it up with my fingers um I also throughout the whole thing I am spraying my brushes with the master fix um, setting spray and it's just to give my eyeshadow um, a little bit more pigment or to hold the pigment and stay in place on my eyes. And here I'm going in with a sort of like pencil brush type brush um, from Eco Tools, And I'm just mixing the colors Molasses Chip and the silver color, the Cafe Oulat or whatever. And just... Um, taking those down into onto my bottom lash. So now I'm just curling my eyelashes. Got to make sure they're all nice and curly and to their length and everything. And I do that before I do my eyeliner because I don't know why. I just feel like I mess up my eyeliner if I do it beforehand. But I was running out of my eyeliner. It's just the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And I get like, I don't do their pencil. It's looks like a pencil type thing eyeliner liquid eyeliner um, I don't know I just don't like how it applies and then this is just me trying to make that 
um, wing as sharp as possible so I can cut a bleep. And yes, I just bleeped myself for no reason. Also, at this time, I was getting sick. Like, this was the first day of me getting sick. I'm still recovering from getting sick. But, yeah, I'm just weighing my eyeliner out and making it very dramatic, like, and, yeah, me just making faces. And, as you can see there, I was getting frustrated because, again, it was almost out and, for some reason, it was clumping together. And it's just really annoying and... No one likes clumpy eyeliner, but yet this one seemed to want to just clump together for this makeup look, and it was really, really annoying, and, but I worked with it, it's whatever, it happens, I just like close it, twist it, and bang it against my hand to make it work, and there's just me turning off the light because it was annoying. But, um, I realized I had forgot to do my mascara, and I'm just using a, I think, Maybelline New York Falsies mascara, maybe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know. It's my favorite mascara. The, um, wording just, like, or labeling rubs off for some reason. And I just do my top and bottom lashes and as you can see bottom lashes make a whole like makes the look come together completely and makes your eyes look big and full and popping and I didn't have any fake lashes so I didn't do any fake lashes so I'm sorry about that but I'm just using a covergirl matte lipstick which is very on the pink tone but it's like a nude pink, but more pink than nude. And then I'm just putting that all over my lips, as you can see. And then I'm going to go in with Hard Candy, um, I guess. It's kind of like a lip injection type thing. And the cap came, ac came apart from the brush for some reason. It was really weird. I don't know. But this is like a nude gloss thing that makes like your lips plump and it makes your lips tingle and plump and everything and it just made my lips look a little bit more on the nude side and then me fixing my hair messing it around to see what works with this look and as you can see I tried putting it to the side seeing if that looked cute which it kind of did in a way but I like it my hair to the front more than to the side or so, yeah, that was the look, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!